Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, the technical note today, the Facebook uh, recording was a very sort of jerky yesterday on the motor camera, so I've gone back to the Sony camera, which is there, for the Facebook to see if that's better. I've also returned to the tablet for the main YouTube broadcast, but as a backup, because YouTube failed on Sunday, I've got a second camera, my other mobile, there doing a backup for YouTube just in case. So once again, it's belt and braces and we hope that all will be successful. I'm very grateful for all of you who are showing such patience while I'm getting to grips with this technology. It is two weeks today since the funeral of one of our prisoners, Seamus Ryan, and I've been asked to offer a Mass today for the repose of his soul. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the Apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came, crowding round him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day he and Barnabas went off to Derby. Having preached the good news in that town and made a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they said, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches, they appointed elders and with prayer and fasting, they commended them to the Lord in whom they have come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. Then, after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went to Italia and from there sailed for Antioch, where they had originally been commended to the grace of God for the work they have now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendour of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom, 
your rule lasts from age to age. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name for ages, for ages unending. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you, a peace the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the Prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thankful for that peace which Christ alone can give, let us pray for one another and for all people. Let us pray for all who endure great hardship in the service of Christ and his gospel. Through their sufferings, may they lead many into the kingdom of God. Through his preaching, St Paul opened the door of faith to the pagan. In an unbelieving world, may Christ through his church open doors to people's hearts. There are many who are weighed down by cares and sorrow. May they be consoled by Christ's word, do not let your hearts be troubled. In this Easter season, we celebrate the victory of love over the forces of evil. Through Christ's victory, may we overcome all enmity in our own hearts. May our sharing in the Eucharist free us from all attachment to sin and enable us to live our lives for God in union with Christ Jesus. Father, you've made Jesus our Saviour and High Priest. In union with his unceasing prayer for us, we offer you these petitions. In your mercy, grant us all that we ask for with faith and devotion through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us give thanks to our Lord. Our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice Therefore, overcome with powerful joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time in which we prayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Seamus, whom you call from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Michael, with Saint Nereus and Saint Achilles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. The 
Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and proclaim the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In view of the celebration of Our Lady of Fatima tomorrow, 
Our Lady of Walsingham's image has given way to that of Our Lady of Fatima. Regina Celi, Laica Re, Alleluia. Quia que meru isti porta re, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut ictis, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Just a reminder, we are going to try and hold a little Zoom meeting at 11 o'clock this morning for all those who have that capability. We'll see how it works.